cowboy fans and YouTubers. It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I do these videos for me and you, and they're a little therapeutic, you know? It lets you feel relieved to get some pressure off of yourself. Like the fact that the Cowboys have finally cut Brett Maher, finally. It only took 10 misses, the most misses by a kicker in four years, to finally say enough is enough. And then on your second round of looking at free agent kickers, you went out and signed Kai Forbath, whom we've already had in training camp in 2011. Uh, he actually got hurt and went to injured reserve, thus opening the door for Dan Bailey. And the rest is history as far as Dan Bailey goes. But go figure, they added all the, the three guys that they worked out. Uh, just so happens to be the same guy they had eight years ago. That they didn't get a real legit shot at because he was injured. But between him and the other two guys that they looked at twice. <coughs> apparently those other guys just aren't worth it. But Kyle Forbath, at least he knows... You know, some of the players, the coaches, and the organization because of his history with us. So I guess that's a good thing, but we'll see how he works out. Thankfully, we got a whole week to uh, see what he can do and get integrated into the special teams. Since we don't play until Sunday, uh, it's going to help us a lot for him to uh, get ingratiated as quick as possible because against the Rams it may come down to another field goal kicking game we don't know and it's best that we have a better product on the field as far as the field goal kicker is since the last couple games those field goals that Maher has missed has proven costly but that's the news coming out of Cowboys today for right now we'll see if anything else develops that's my daughter, as you know. And thank y'all again for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I hope y'all have a good Monday. Uh, stay up, people.